Hello, vlog people. Um, we are on our way to an event. Danny is in a pissy mood. Was it, is that fair? Just tired. Tired. And our babysitter was 45 minutes late because. <laughs> A little bit, a little because bit she because she got lost and she's only been to our house like five times. <laughs> but anyway, it's all right. At least she did because it's been raining. It took me an hour and a half to get home from a meeting, a fox meeting today. It took an hour and a half to get home because you were in a meeting with a fox. Yeah, no, with Fox Studios. Um, um, about the talk show it was very exciting. Anyway, you know when it rains here at all, the whole city goes into a crisis panic mode. Is it kind of like the whole city shuts down? Kind of. That's like, a personal like, thing, because Danny, because <laughs> in Hollywood during Christmas, the whole city shuts oh. down, and Danny always makes fun of me. But meanwhile, everybody says it. In fact, it was very funny because an agent called him and was like, "Get out! The whole city shut down." And Danny pretends Easter, like that's not true. Halloween. You can turn Christmas, left here. So now we're gonna. That's true. Monica. The whole city shuts down. But it's a fact. Anyway. Juana's uh, day. <laughs> anyway. President's day. President's day. Say <laughs> Pat's. Basically, day. Hollywood shut down. Oh, you're right. It's been shut down a lot lately, hasn't it? Turn right. Um, uh, so, we're going to an event Allie Willis is having. Allie Willis, the incredible songwriter who wrote, you know, uh, lots of hits for the Pointer Sisters and things in the in the 80s. And then she wrote the Friends theme. So, life went told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> and she wrote The Color Purple, the musical on Broadway. Um, she did? Yeah. And she is a brilliant, and she's also a painter, and she's also a videographer and video maker, fabulous stuff, under these pseudonym things. And she's also she's not shut down tonight. created, she's not shut down. She also cre uh, discovered the, rediscovered the Del Rubio triplets, which was a triplet, three women who are at the time, I think in their 60s or 70s. She's discovered someone new, and her name is Jerry. And I think it's short for Jerry, Adric, because I think she's 89 years old or something, and she plays the drums. So that's what we're doing tonight. It should be interesting. I'm going to bring you guys along. So we're going to see an 89-year-old drum player right now? Is that what we're doing? It's very hip. This is like this is right on the fringe of uh, <laughs> hipster fringe. Welcome to my life, love people. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Go straight. Okay, it's called the Ghetto Gloss is where we're going. See you in a minute. Hey, it's dark. You can't see us, but we're hoping that this is it. Okay, hipster people. Oh, there's Allie. <laughs> Just in time. We're just in time. Hi, honey. Hi. 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 How exciting! We need a picture, picture, picture. All right, talk amongst yourselves. We're getting the mic set up. Hold on. All right, and the couple of the people who sang with me on there are here. Sophie. There's one of our background singers. Come up here. Ellie Who doesn't have lyrics? Right now, thank you. Right here, All right, lyrics. grab your lyrics. Oh, lyric. We need our lyrics. I, I need one. Thank you. All right. Danny's favorite TV um, show so in the whole world is uh, The uh, Office. And Stanley from The Office. Of course, now you've only heard the song once or twice, <clears> but you know, I like my things bad, so this is going to be perfect. That's why we're on it. Perfect. Can you all hear the drums or no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Carol Jenkins She's plays got Saturn. An oxygen tag on her. She's got oxygen on her. And house. we <laughs> Okay, so Okay, so the bad another four bars and we're gonna do the four bar intro. One. Never was good. What am I on? Three? Two, three, four, go! Hey!
give the keys a scold. We're on in this town. Yeah. Wait a minute. Gotta shake, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shake some more. What do you I think like of Jerry? Fabulous. Outstanding. I appreciate anybody who in 91 can do anything. Exactly. <laughs> because at our age, we can hardly do anything. Because I'm... <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. good. Those girls just kept like coming, one after another. They all looked exactly alike. Yeah. Disturbing, yeah. actually. Where did you okay. find her? Let me, let me Where did this. you find her? Uh, my neighbor across the street kept telling me about her. I was a lazy ass. I didn't go see her. She finally called me up. She said she's on an oxygen tank. You're going to go see her. Go see her. I went to see her. Flip out. She lives here in L.A. She lives here in L.A. She's a, uh, well, I won't say it, but an unbelievable drummer. Has had been gigging steadily for 70 years. And um, is incredible. Literally, when she brought those drums into my house, the best drum sound, the drum sound I've been looking for ever. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. So, She's incredible. And anyway, who are the triplets? The triplets are... They just kept coming. I thought it was my eyes. I was scared, and I thought there were like eight or nine of them. They are Brazilian pop stars. They are? Yes. And, and they're uh, making their American they've had debut? they records in, uh, all over Europe and Brazil. All they have to do is walk around. So, they're gorgeous. It's unbelievable. They're beautiful. Unbelievable. So, so I've been so writing with them. Oh, fantastic. And uh, when I write it, when I write uh, stuff, I write it out for them phonetically. You write it on your hand? No, I don't write it on my <laughs> hand. But I write it oh, phonetically, phonetically because, so the accent, you know. So they get so around the accent. We get around the accent. But isn't it more fun just to make them say things they don't understand? Well, that's good too. Yeah, that's good okay. too. You've lived in Los Angeles most of the time? No, I came out here in 45. From? Dubuque, Iowa. Oh, really? Chicago. So you came during the big band era. Oh, yeah. Did you play with big bands? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I, yeah, I was with Ada Leonard with the big band. You're kidding. Yeah. Wow. So you've been doing it. Ali said that you've got the best drum sound she's ever heard. Yep. I have a vintage set. I have a camp call. Really? And what do you attribute your youthfulness to? Oh, God, don't look at the calendar. <laughs> don't look at the calendar. And just keep playing, right? Just keep playing. With the oxygen. I see that. That's kind of a pain in the ass. You, you have to come down to the L Cid. Oh, and, yeah? And, and, and sing with us. Oh, you play at the El Cid yeah, here on Sunset? We're going to be there the 22nd. Okay. Uh, February, from 2 to 5. Fantastic. On the patio. All right, all right, and Jerry. Fantastic. I, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, You're fantastic. Yeah, all right, honey. Good to see you. Take care. Okay, we are now leaving. What did you think? Wait, of? wait, wait. What time is it? It's um. Eight thirty-five. Yeah. What time did we get there? Eight twenty. No, that's not true. <laughs> We've been there for half. Well, that's all there was to do. It was a. We went and saw Jerry. It was what God they call her. a happening. It was a happening. Uh, do so you think that's what's happening? <laughs> Sorry. Were you bored? 8.30, I'm just so tired. Well, but we're out, and we're going Well, out. we got a babysitter, so we have to stay out longer we than have half to, an we hour. We have to use the babysitter. <laughs> okay, to be Because we'd only have to pay her $5 if we went home now. This is Barbarella. Ha! There's no one here. So the Barbarella actually does have a drink called the Jane Fonda, and our waitress is dressed as Barbarella in Barbarella. We're just so glad to be out. We'd go to an empty restaurant. We choose the empty restaurant because we can just go out. Well, it just opened, so now we can say we've been here. We've been here.
even though no one else has. <laughs> so basically, we're killing time because we feel guilty that the babysitter's only been there for an hour, and it's not worth her time, so we're actually thinking, we wish we were at home watching Damages on television, so we were thinking of maybe going to a hotel to watch Damages, and then going home. Danny. <laughs> it's pathetic. We never go out, and this is what happens when we do. We went to our happening for 30 minutes, and now we're sitting Wait, at, in, a, in, in an empty, in a, our happening. And then we're, now we're sitting at an empty restaurant where they have no dessert. Because, because we have to. Because we feel guilty. We could just pay her some extra and tell her to leave. Or, I had another idea. What if we just ask her to stay and rub our feet? <laughs> Do you do massages? <laughs> We're so pathetic. As long as I'm with you. With a candle? Yeah. In Barbarella. Huh? Can't take your eyes off of her ass, can you? Okay, you Woo! Got... We exhausted. Party! So we have um, been out for exactly an we hour and clock. It's now. <laughs> It's been an hour and 20 minutes that we've been out. We're going to give her a big fat $20. <laughs> because, and she's like, take your time. Stay out as late as you want. Like, you don't understand. Stay out as late as you want. She's a youngster with no children. <laughs> Bye, vlog people. <laughs> to the exciting life. We Goodbye. went to a happening. Goodbye, VIPs. That's vlog people. Ooh.